Hello everyone! Today we will see a practical exercise that you can reuse in your daily work later on. We are going to deploy a cloud function, but this time it's not going to be using gcloud command or the UI. This time we're going to use GitHub options. Cloud functions is the serverless compute platform created by Google to be used in the Google Cloud. It's an event-driven model, and in our example, we're going to use an HTTP call trigger our function example. GitHub options is the way used by GitHub to deploy CI CD pipelines. And we only need to create a simple YAML file in the folder .github workflows to start our pipeline. For our example, the idea is simple. As soon as we push, we will start a pipeline that will build, will deploy, and test our cloud function. Let's start with our cloud function. As you can see in the screen, this is the code that we're going to use, and it's nothing more than a class called I love Cadet that will show our test. And then we have a pom file that will be used to build the jar file and will contain a reference to con.google.cloud.functions. Now that we saw the code, we can deploy our cloud function. To start, we're going to see our GitHub Aption code. To set up GitHub Aptions, we're going to use a file called pipeline.yaml. And as you can see at the beginning, what we set up is the trigger. And in our case, it's going to be a push. What does mean is that every time that we push something in the branch main, the pipeline is going to start. After that, we start with the jobs. GitHub Aptions works similarly to Cloud Build. Every job will be executed in the same virtual machine, which in our case are Ubuntu latest. But every job doesn't serve variables because every job is executed in a different virtual machine. In our example, we have one job with five steps, so we can pass variables between steps with no problem. The first thing that we do is we clone our repo in GitHub inside the virtual machine. Then we set up the GCP credentials. To be able to do that, we need to create first a secret in GitHub with the Google Cloud Service Account token. This service account will be able to manage the cloud function and will be able to execute AIM service account. At. After that, we deploy the cloud function with Google GitHub Aptions. We set up the project, the entry point, and the runtime name. And the last step, is to test executing a curl to our URL. This is an interesting point because as you can see, we execute a curl to step.deploy.outputs.url. What we do here is to get from a previous step in the deploy, the output call URL that is generated by this step. Now, we only need to push our code. GitHub options will start to work magically and step by step, our code will be built deploy and test. When the pipeline is executed, we can see that our function is there. And now, when we go to Cloud Functions, if we click on the three dots that we have on the right, and we click on View Logs, we can see how was executed the test that we did before. If we go to a browser and we go to the URL and click Enter, what we have there is what we wanted to see since beginning. We love NKDEV. Remember that all the code is in a repo that you can find in the description. Please click like and subscribe for new videos. Thank you for watching.